Yeah, one more little. Why not? Hey, why not? So, for a long time, there's been this thing where everyone runs around screaming, market makers, market makers. Um, and believe it or not, there are some weird rumors out there from um, someone who once claimed that they found information. Basically, they heard from someone who, who claimed that the big boys can see your trades. And so that's one of the reasons why you find that like it drops and then like spikes and it just hits your stop loss and it reverses back up again because they, they're they able to see your trade. So they push for the trade and they move back up. Um, those are market makers. And there's a whole lot of other um, stuff. Uh, market makers can see your stop losses. Market makers um, have access to your account. Market makers can do this. Market makers can do that. And the list goes on, right? So, and we're not sure about how much they can do. But here's the thing, though. It's not that market makers don't exist. They do. They do. But they're not who you think they are. No. So, here's the thing. To understand the whole market maker thing, right? Let me just quickly, quickly go back, quickly. Just I'm going. I'm not. What I'm about to do is I'm. I'm about to jump back and then fast forward. Right. Long story short, historically, um, there was a crisis, and then when there was a crisis, there was a situation because there was no liquidity. Liquidity basically means being able to get in and out of a market. So there was no liquidity. So, two thousand eight thousand crisis, crisis, along with a few others, but let's stick to the two thousand eight thousand crisis. That led to no liquidity why because people are selling up and there was no buy so there was a crash and there was a crash and there was no bang at the time so there was no one actually going on the other side of the position that's important because whenever you have a buyer you have to have a seller when you have a seller you have to have a buyer so long story short the stock market kind of came in and you're like you know what we need to do we need to figure out a way to make sure that there's always liquidity so legally we're going to have these people from institutions and again for various other reasons we're not going to get into we need these people to take the other side of the position of course they're going to get paid for it in a particular way we're not going to get into that either however we need these people to take the other side of the position in other words when you have a seller you have to have a buyer when you have a buyer you have to have a seller legally those institutions when you are buying they have to sell to you right at a particular price sure but they have to sell to you now they have to sell to you and this, of course, there are floating um, positions around. In other words, what this means is, if I am a market maker, technically market maker, and there are positions being sold, you want to buy a position, you can just buy a position. But if there are no positions around, I have to sell my position to you at a particular price, of course. Now, it has to be done in order to create liquidity. It still benefits a market maker, in a way, but... That's purely to create liquidity. That's basically what the market maker does. Market makers don't look at stop losses. They don't do all of that stuff. Market makers are basically just go back and look at a whole lot of those old school Wall Street movies um, where you've got floor traders. Those are market makers. So you've got a floor trader. Again, you can check this out on YouTube, right? That's why you don't follow a whole lot of guys. You actually do the research. Anyway, so you've got people who are floor traders. They're basically taking up positions they doing what you're doing in your room or business whatever then you've got the other guys your specialists ah the specialists are technically market makers you've got two right those people are those who make sure that the trade goes through okay so then you can hold up signals like all that stuff right because they can't speak so you've got that happening when you've got that when you've got that happening You've got this guy buying, this guy selling. His job is to link those two together, right? If no one's doing it, he has to try and provide liquidity. He has to sell it. So the whole 2000 crisis was basically this. How do we make sure it doesn't happen again? We create market makers. Market makers create liquidity so that there's always a buyer, there's always a seller, so we don't find ourselves in a crisis. I bet you did not know that. That happened around 2008 or maybe before, but that was the purpose of it. 
So that's a market maker. It's not some guy who's sitting around looking at your stop loss because they can't see your stop losses. Even if they could, retail traders make up like 10%, 10% of like Forex and investors, etc. Even also institutions. So quick question. One, why would all institutions, which already have 90%, gang up and kind of go, let's hit the retail traders. Remember these guys, Remember, here's a few, a few things you need to take into account. We're going to bundle them together. Traders, investors, all at once, right? These people are holding big investor money. Like, you've got multi-millionaires investing with them. Billionaires investing in them. These people have like 10 billion under asset man, under management. And that's not even a big firm, right? You've got, you've got firms that are like, we've got 50 billion under management, etc. Right? Massive numbers. Why would a firm that has 50 billion under management go after some guy who has 0.1 lot size who's trying to make 5,000? Right? That to them it would make, to them it would actually cost them money to try and do that. So they don't care about the retail traders. We're like the little fish, right? You've got the shark that comes over, that walks, that tra drives, walks, zooms around in the sea and just kind of. <clears throat> And you've got these little fishes, right? That kind of do the whole. So we're those guys. Like, oh, 500 there, it's 5,000 there, 1,000 there, 100 there. We're those people. They don't care about it. They don't care, right? Ultimately, it still works out because if we make money, eventually we kind of go to them anyway, right? So it doesn't really matter. We're not worth the effort. So again, stock market, market makers are not some p evil people running around going, how do we get retail traders money? They don't care about our money. The money that we make, like, let me, let me, let me break it down quick. Ray Dalio built a firm. I forgot how many billion that thing has, right? George Soros has a firm. Uh, Warren Buffett has a firm. Carl Icahn has a firm. Bill Ackman has a firm. All of these people. I'm sure Combine has has 100 billion plus combined. I Now, let's take some respectable traders. Whether they're scammers or not, it's really not my thing. I don't really care. But let's just take some notable traders, right? P people who are re reasonably respected within the community. Your uh, FX goats, right? Those are some good guys. I, as far as I know, those are some good guys. I don't know them personally, but... From what I've seen, there are some good people. Yeah. FX Go. Um, let's see Motubi. Again, as far as I know, he's a cool guy. I, I haven't met any of these people. I have no, no association with these people. So I'm just mentioning people that we that I just happen to have seen on YouTube. Your let's see by your FX Goats, um, your Javlan Cashflow, um, or Sandy Lechesi, who I've met once. Yeah. I've met once, um, and whoever else, right? A bunch of other people. There's a lot more, right? That I'm probably missing out. Point, point though is, even if you combine these people, right? They still nothing compared to the firm. These people are rich, right? They're rich, right? Sunday they lives like close by, like within the city, I think. Um, uh, let me just say he lives like within a 30 minute drive from where I live, right? As far as I know. Um, it, it, it's still, his worth means nothing to people like George Soros. So it's not like they're going to sit there and go, how do we get Sandy Lachey's stop loss, right? So the point that I'm, I'm moving towards is market makers have bigger fish to fry than us. So they're not running off their stop losses. So the question is then, if it's not them, what is the real reason why the market does an annoying thing where it goes down, hits the stop loss, and then reverses in my trade um, my trade direction? I know this is not a trading channel. I'm sorry I got into it. This should be like the last thing I speak about trading, and I'm going back to investing because I know people on this channel are probably not interested in trading anyway. So I'll step away from it. But... Here's, here, 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 here it is. This is why the market does a crazy thing. 
it did it to me way back and i was like hey i will learn from you and i'll beat you so this is what this is what it is volatility i'll repeat that volatility that's what it is volatility no market makers no 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 leave them alone volatility if you want to know more about what the heck i'm on about and why comment below like subscribe do all of that stuff by the way i've got a patreon i keep forgetting i need to promote that stuff more um there's a patreon somewhere here um where i share a whole lot of stuff every time i say things like we'll get to it and yeah i'm probably going to end up sharing that on patreon and in a more in-depth manner so that if you are a trader you can go into patreon and you'll find a whole lot of stuff on there anyway um whole lot of stuff will be explained in detail and you'll kind of go oh now it all makes sense um if you're an investor similar situation um oh okay cool i get it and that's basically the purpose of patreon to support the group while at the same time getting a whole lot of knowledge any questions, video chats, want to contact me, we can do it through Patreon. Cheers.